everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Moira and today I am going to talk about how I prepared for my thesis defense. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'd know that I filmed my whole thesis process last year. So if you haven't checked that out yet, I will leave the link down below. And I also made a video all about my thesis defense, like the day itself, everything that happened. And also leave that link down below. And now I figured that I would make this video, you know, sharing how I prepared tips ganyan since it is February. Feb since it is February, maybe some of you are gonna have their thesis defense soon if you're graduating in March. Or maybe this could help you in the future kung April or May man yung thesis defense niyo. But before I start, I do have a few disclaimers. Um, first is that um, everything that I will say is from my point of view and I come from the College of Architecture. So my thesis is architecture related. It's more of floor plans, ganyan, buildings. It's different in other courses like statistics or or interview The second disclaimer is that this video is all about how to prepare for the thesis defense itself. It's not about the thesis. Kumbaga yung parang yung presentation talaga mismo. Because in my experience, everything that we had to pass, like the papers and the drawings and whatever, was passed like a week before the thesis defense itself so that we could have enough time to prepare for our presentation. But yeah, that's all. So anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Woo! First, let's talk about your PowerPoint. Almost all thesis defenses have PowerPoints required. And my first tip is to use Google Slides. I've said this before that you should just use Google Slides or Google Drive for all of your school stuff, honestly. Because when you use Google Slides, everything is automatically saved to the internet. Every click or every change or word that you put into your PowerPoint. It's already saved in the internet so you don't have to worry about your file getting corrupt at the last second because you know that's so stressful. Next is to use a PowerPoint template. You could search the internet for free PowerPoint templates such as in slidescarnival.com or on Canva. Well, for our course, the design of our PowerPoint is also important because it's all about aesthetics and presentation ganon. so there's a lot of templates out there so just choose one what best suits your thesis and you could work from there next is use good fonts i don't know if this is just an archy thing but medyo ano nga kami sa fonts medyo kailangan maganda ganon. personally the fonts that i like to use are like montserrat lato avenir ganyan mga sans serif whatever oswald i also like that mostly fonts that are clean looking, yun, yung malinis tignan, whatever. Ariel is also okay. Or you could also use the fonts that are already in the template and just make sure to embed it para hindi mawala if you're gonna use a different laptop in your presentation. The less figures, the better. I really like PowerPoint presentations that are more minimal. Like in one slide, there's just one focal point um, so that it doesn't also bombard your audience with too much information. Don't read everything on your PowerPoint. Don't put everything on your PowerPoint. It's just a tool to help you discuss things ganyan. For me also, pictures and graphs are better than putting words. Because using pictures or graphs really help captivate the attention of your audience. It's psychological ganyan. Wag nakita ang colleagues para wow! Don't put too many words as much as possible. And just do all the explaining for yourself. Second part, your speech. Of course, you're gonna have to present. Um, you're gonna prepare a 15 to 20 minute speech. Depends on your professor or your teacher. So anyways, first you introduce yourself, of course. And then after that, you start with the background. So you explain how your project came about. What is the situation that we need to put our attention to? Why is this topic being discussed? Basically, how your thesis all started. After that, you should talk about the significance of your study. Talk about what why is it important that we know this thesis? Why should we listen? That's very important because if your thesis has no significance, <laughs> girl, baka hindi tayo graduate. <laughs> and then after that, you talk about all your findings and analysis. And this one will definitely differ from course to course. Like for us, it's more of like site analysis and the uh, design plans, floor plans, elevations, perspectives, ganon. While in other courses, yun nga, it may be more of statistics, numbers, or mga interview. I don't know. And then after that, you're gonna end with the closing statement. And this one is very important because it should be very, very impactful. It 
it should be quotable, ganon. Kasi it's the last part. So in my thesis, I actually ended with my design philosophy. You could also end with your thesis statement. This is my closing statement. By the way, my thesis is the Philippine High School of Arts and Technology. So it's a high school for the arts. So anyways. It is about time that we break the traditional setup of schools and classrooms and let students become their own explorers of new ideas and knowledge. After all, the architecture of educational spaces should not aim to teach, but rather to create the opportunities to learn. You mga ganon para ma ano yung audience niya. Make sure that once you've written your speech, it's within the time limit. Print a copy out. Ayan, this is my copy. I brought this during my defense. And then the only key to perfecting anything is to keep on practicing again and again and again and again and again. So that's what I did the day before my defense. I just practiced again and again. Practice your tone. For me, in, during your thesis defense, it's important to use a persuasive tone. Don't be monotone. <laughs> because you should be able to convince your audience and your panel why your thesis is important and why should they should pass you. Also, practice your enunciation, diction, yun nga, yung emphasis on certain words. The Q and A. Pati na ang Q and A of the panel, which is can be very nerve wracking. But to prepare for it, you should be able to list down all the questions that come to mind and then also print it out like this. This is five pages worth of questions and answers just so I'm not too lost um, during the discussion. What you could do is you could review your speech and all your slides and maybe after one paragraph or one slide, you stop and ask yourself, hmm, if I were a part of the panel, what would I ask about this thesis? What would I want to know more about? What am I curious to know? So like, what would you critique in your own thesis? Usually you should prepare for like whys and hows. Next, outfit and grooming. This thing is what I wore during my thesis defense and I really, really like my outfit. I hope you also take the time to choose a good outfit because you can see how it is and how it is. So I definitely recommend wearing power suits because they make you feel so powerful as in they're powerful yet comfortable. Remember to keep your hair away from your face. I put my hair up in a ponytail or you could just put it back like that. Like that. Like that. Ganyan. Dapat wala sa harap and tucked in behind the ears. If gusto nyo, you could put on light makeup and your nails too should be well groomed. Night before, you could also pamper yourself and put on a face mask. Just relax, as in chill ka lang, girl. Kasi how you take care of yourself can be very evident um, when you're presenting in front of other people. Next, schedule and to do list. So the night before, I made like a schedule of everything that I needed to do, like what time to wake up. Uh, shower, eat breakfast, leave my house. Make sure that I don't forget anything and also what to bring. Make sure to bring your laptop, your charger, a USB, a copy of your speech, your thesis, or whatever. Ilista nyo na lahat para wala na kayong makalimutan. And the next, ayan na, you prepared, you slept. Ito na, this is the time for your presentation proper. So, so this is what I wrote. Keep calm, you're ready. Trust yourself. I mean, mahira pindi nervous in sa thesis defense because this is something you've worked on for like one whole year. So yeah, it can get pretty nerve wracking. But yun nga, just breathe, as in remind yourself to breathe in and out. And remember that this is just one hour of your entire life. You're gonna live so many more years, and this next hour is just one hour. So just keep going. Before you know it, it's gonna end real soon. For the Q and A, just just keep answering honestly whatever the first thing is that comes to your mind just say it remember that your panel is not there to humiliate you or anything they're just there to ask questions because they're curious just keep answering and remember that it's just a conversation and finally after you passed your thesis it's time to celebrate and of course rest rest is very important take a break after your thesis defense because girl you deserve it you deserve a break kahit one week and long or one week sana this is something you've worked hard for so you deserve to take a break but that is it for this video i hope you learned a thing or two i think i hope this is helpful in any way for any of those who are going to take their thesis defense soon good luck again remember it's just one hour of your life keep calm just breathe because as with anything in life this too shall pass and your thesis too shall pass <laughs> 
But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and also don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you're updated whenever I post a new video. Comment down below what video you want to see next and I hope to see you next time. Bye!